Hi, Steve Hughes here from Altium again. Being able to define different trace widths and clearance rules via spans and sizes around those dense pin components, such as fine pitch BGAs, is imperative in order to be able to fan out and route those devices. Component rules in pads layout are simply inadequate for this. So it's no surprise that supporting rules by area is the number one enhancement request by the pads layout users. So let me show you how rooms are used to define and assign rules by area in Altium Designer. Rooms are regions that can be placed either standalone in any area of the PCB or associated with specific components. With this BGA component in place, it's straightforward to place a room around it and to associate the component with that room. Using the Design Rooms command to place the room, there are various options to choose from depending on your specific requirement, such as placing different shapes for the room outline and copying room formats. To place a simple rectangular room, just click and drag the mouse to fully encompass the BGA component. With the room defined and the BGA associated with it, a room rule definition has been created automatically. So let's explore the details in the Design Rules section. In the Placement Rules section, there are room definitions. The room that was just created is named room definition underscore 3. So let's rename it to room underscore BGA to make it easier to identify later. Next, using the width rule area to define a rule for the desired trace width when entering the room area, rename it to width underscore BGA in this case. Using the powerful query tool, a custom query will be used to define the specific values of the parameters for the room. Rooms have two available queries that automates its access. One is called Touches Room, and the other is Within Room, which we'll now use. As you start typing the word Within Room, notice that it pops up, and after selecting, a drop-down list is displayed automatically with all the available room names, including Room underscore BGA that was just created. Let's set the Min, Preferred, and Max to 6 mils. Then whenever the routing enters the BGA room, the trace width will automatically change to 6 mil. Again, using the within room query, a similar rule can be created for the clearance. Setting the clearance to 4 mils and renaming it to clearance underscore BGA. The last step is to create another rule for the via style. Again, use the custom query within room to create a new rule and rename it to routing via underscore BGA, and then set the proper hole size and diameter. In this case, a preferred hole size of 16 mils and a diameter of 32 mils. With all the rules associated with the room now defined, the BGA is ready to be fanned out. Use the route fan out component command, and then select the BGA component to quickly add the fan out pattern. This was an HDI design, and he wanted to change these fanout vias to microvias, for example, assuming the stack of vias with microvias have already been set up, as you see here, it is easy to do so. Just change the selection filter to only select vias, then select all the vias. Within the property pane, I can select the name of the microvia from my stack up that I will use for the fanout. After selecting the microvia from the first to second layer, all the fanout vias are changed to microvias. So now let's review that in 3D. Use the shortcut keys, Control Z, to switch them back to through hole to see the difference. And then just use Control Y to change them back to microvias. Now let's take a look at the effect that these rules have, which supersede the general design rules when routing multiple traces into the room. Select the multiple nets, and from the active bar displayed at the top of the window, Click on the Interactive Routing icon, and then select Interactive Multi-Routing. As the traces are routed, the shortcut key number 2 is used to add some vias outside of the room. Then as the routes enter the room, you can see that the trace width automatically nets down, adhering to the room width rule preferred set. This also works equally well with differential pairs and single net routing. The shortcut key, the number 2, can again be used to add vias inside of the room. Notice how the size changed. 
Single or stacked microvias can also be added using the Control L shortcut. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like to try Altium Designer yourself, simply click the link on the website, choose from a short online virtual evaluation, or opt for downloading the software for a longer trial.